Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberg and I am the audio Filiac. This is the Creative Urvana Trio headphone. It's called the Trio because it has three drivers in each earpiece. Two balanced armature drivers and a biocellulose woofer or low frequency driver. And it's a really nice headphone. But I'm not the only one that has made this logical comparison with these uh, one more drivers. These are the one more triple driver. Also have three drivers in each earpiece because it has two balanced armatures and one woofer. I don't know if it's biocellulose, but it's got three drivers, three drivers here. Um, where, where do I start? Well, anyway, I'll start with the one more because the one more has been sort of my go-to uh, reference for $100 in-ear headphones. It's terrific. It's it's just balanced. It sounds good. Has nice bass. Very open sounding. Very very nice headphone. But I have to say this uh, trio here, it's better. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. I hope it's better. And it is. It's it's even clearer. It's extremely open. Top end and top top end. It's just gorgeous. Actually, really exceptional for one hundred and fifty bucks. Um, Mid-range is nice, bass is really tight, really fast, not super deep, not overdone or anything. It's not, it's not a bassy headphone, and it's not a bright sounding headphone. It's just a very, very clear, very, very transparent headphone for the money. Both of these, by the way, uh, you put them in and the, and the cables go down. They don't go over your ear. That's true for both of these headphones, which I actually prefer, and a lot of people like the over-the-ear style. That's not me. Uh, both headphones are decent in blocking uh, noise, like on the, on the New York City subway, but mm, not exceptional. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about the uh, Trio is that the cable, for whatever reason, which is user replaceable, has MMCX connectors on it, so you can replace these cables, but the cables that come with it are incredibly tangle prone. Uh, I don't know why, but even when I took care of wrapping them, they still manage to um, get tangled. It does have a remote and a mic that's compatible with Android and iOS devices. But anyway, I'm, I'm excited that I have a $150 headphone, a step up from the one more uh, that's worth the upgrade if you're an audiophile type who wants pretty neutral, transparent sound for not crazy amount of money. Of course, you know, as I got up to uh, press the button here on my recorder to talk about this thing, I'm thinking, these are wired headphones. Isn't everybody using Bluetooth headphones? Well, not me. I have a, um, an iPhone 6S, so uh, it still has a headphone jack, and I like using it. It's just more convenient, and I hate the, um, the Apple uh, Lightning to 3.5-millimeter uh, adapter. It's not, a, it's not a good solution. So, yes, I could walk around with the music playing, you know, player and uh, and do it that way. Um, but in terms of phones, the headphone jack is definitely on its way out on phones. So I think fewer and fewer people will be buying wired headphones. You know, inexp relatively inexpensive headphones like these. It's kind of another end of an era kind of story. Too bad. Anyway, uh, that's it. My name is Steve Guttenberg. As always, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe to it. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, share these wonderful videos with all of your friends. Come back often. Comes up more or less six times a week. See you soon.